How to feed the world in times of pandemics and climate change? What a challenge. As must be in most countries around the globe, the greatest challenge for agriculture is to think forward, to think ahead of time, and to plan wisely how we want to preserve our planet and the happiness of its people. We must rediscover ways to produce food, overcoming nature's revenge with pandemics such as COVID-19 and climate change that bring floods and droughts that are continuously threatening world food production. Together with animal diseases, endanger human conception of healthy food. This is our duty today, to overcome as many obstacles as possible in the food chain process, focusing on one health and to identify possible ways to feed the world under the current conditions. We must start by facilitating people's access to education and conscientization of the world we live today with the use of efficient and responsible production processes. Providing farmers with knowledge and technical skills to produce healthy food, from raising cattle to growing crops while taking care of our environment. Preservation, another must that has to be in the list. Finding ways to compensate and give back to Earth what previous generations have taken away. Year away, natural resources are very favorable for this matter, as can be appreciated in the images shown as I speak. So, being aware of each country's potential and how to use it wisely should be our number one objective. Promoting and sharing experience through conference such as these ones, nations can think together the best ways to feed the world in times of crisis like the one we are suffering. Uruguay looks very much forward to the Global Forum for Food and Agriculture to help agriculture decision makers from all over the world to identify possible ways that can lead the world to a brighter future.